This is Jonathan Agraf here for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Connor Ben, nine days out from his fight against Chris Eubank Jr. live on the zone pay per view. Connor, uh, happy birthday for yesterday. Uh, I'm guessing the celebrations are on hold. Yeah, definitely. Got to get the fight away first. Unlike uh, Chris Eubank, who I know you've been asked, has been posting videos, photos of him enjoying himself. Um, do you actually look into social media or do you actually, during camp, not even go on social media? I'm just not really, it makes no difference to me. Um, you know, if he wants to make himself come across as unprofessional and, and you know, it looks silly from the outside looking in, um, you know, then so be it if that's the way you want to be portrayed. Um, you know, but with his dad coming out saying, oh, I'm um, worried about my son's health and then he's out posting eating burgers. It's just like, mate, you lot have just smoked yourself right off, haven't you? You've said in the past you learn and take something from every fight you've been in. So going back to your last fight, Van Heerden, and I only went two rounds. What did you learn? First Southpaw, you got him out of there quickly. But what did you take from that and heading into this fight? I'd done what I wanted to do, um, you know. Um, I thought I went in there and done what I wanted to do. Um, and, you know, I wanted to come in there and impose straight away. And that's what I, exactly what I've done. In terms of fights you've learnt from throughout your career, heading into the biggest fight of your career to date, what would you say is the one fight maybe you've learnt the most in? Man, I learned something new every camp. I can't say specifically say fight. I just, you just learnt, it's more so the occasions, you, you just, like, Headlining shows, um, fighting on big undercards. You, you just, you just learn, man. You learn to. There's so many little details in being a pro fighter, from the training to the mentality to the um, conditioning to the recovery to the diet. It's, it's a never-ending, man. School's never out. Obviously, people will look at this fight and say two sons of legends who've come together now are fighting for this obviously I guess you can relate to him and the start of the career the pressure you're under and things like that how would you say the image of you has changed going into this fight from where it was maybe four or five years ago to how you're being perceived now by the public um, my work ethic and hard work is clear to see you know this fight's happening because I closed the gap this fight's happening because my trajectory is like that do you know what I mean? So, you know, this is nothing but hard work. Moving up to middleweight, people have questions whether, you know, you'll be affected by the move up. You have been sparring a lot of, uh, like, Cash and uh, sort of Linus Adolfi, I believe. How, how have you found that sparring? Uh, what's been the most enjoyable part of camp? Not the sparring with Felix, that's for sure. That ain't been enjoyable. But, um, yeah, Felix is a powerful fighter, man. Um, you know, next world champion for sure um, at a match from gym. He's, um, yeah, he's an incredible talent. Um, so, yeah, doing rounds with him, it's hard, but, you know, it's good. It's what I need. Um, you know, spine liners, Brad Pauls, you know, be doing 12 fours with, you know, three different middleweights, two middleweights, one in, one out, one in, one out. So, you know, I leave no stone unturned every camp. I saw uh, even your dad was having a few uh, little light sessions with uh, John Ryder. What's it like seeing him get in the ring? Is it a bit inspiring? Uh, he, he moves the same. You got to remember, he's just my dad, man. He's not Nigel Ben to me. He's just, he's just my, he's just my dad to me, and that's the way I see see my dad. But has it been good to have him in in camp yeah. for this one? I know he went to the Isle of Wight as well. Yeah, it's a reminder to me. He's a reminder to me of the blood I've running through my veins. He's. Um, Is, I look at him and I go, this, this is what I'm meant to do. I look at my dad and I go, this is what I'm meant to do. This is me. This is what, this is what I was born for. In that uh, face-off thing, I believe I took a line from there where you said about him being out of his father's shadow and you kind of questioned that. Do you believe he has managed to get out of his father's shadow? I don't think so. I don't think so, not at all. Um, you know, we're both viewed so completely different by the public, it couldn't be further apart. Um, you know, but then again, that probably comes down to me coming here on my own and, and really actually doing it on my own, not having my dad holding my hand. Um, yeah, my dad weren't holding my hand, no stage in my career. He said uh, during the Make the Days Count documentary that he believes you'll fo fold under the pressure. How do you think you will prepare yourself for the occasion, uh, first pay per view? Does that does the fact that you've headlined before prepare you for it or does it not even matter? Uh, it's all bollocks, mate. I go in there and I'm having a fight. 
you know, it's it's maybe because he folded under pressure. Maybe because you can't. Maybe he's saying, oh yeah, you know, you're not ready because I've gone into fights that I fought. I didn't know how they were going to go. That's him, you know. That's why he is the way he is. He's. Um, I don't fold under pressure. Well, this this to me is another fight. Another another fight. You know, the same thing. I train, I prepare, it and work exactly the same. You know, it might as well be Spence, or it could be um, it could be Virgil Ortiz, it could be Van Herden and Algeria. You know, I prepare exactly the same. Um, you know, occasions don't get to me. Early on in my career, my it was so daunting and scary. I was a little boy, man. I was 19 years old. Do you know what I mean? It was it was a it was a yeah. It was um, it was scary then, uh, you know. But you it soon becomes your norm, your reality. Um, and here I am, man. This is this is my norm. This is my reality. Uh, the occasion. You know, he's another man I got to go in there and beat up. And just stylistically, what do you think he does well in there uh, going into this fight? Um, I'm sure he will use his way. I'm sure he uses experience. Um, apart from that, I'm gonna take that all away from him. Do you believe you can knock him out? Yeah, I do. 100%. And just lastly, I've got to ask you about a big possible fight in your division. Spence and Crawford apparently have agreed to terms. Uh, what do you think of that fight and who you think would win? Uh, I like both. I think Crawford. Crawford takes the win. Definitely. Connor Ben, thanks for talking to Pro Boxing fans ahead of your fight with Eubank Jr. next week. Thank you.